Radiotherapy is a type of cancer treatment that uses high energy x-rays to kill cancer cells or to slow down their growth. It does this by damaging their DNA. Radiotherapy is important because many people who are living with cancer will require radiation at some point during their cancer treatment journey, either for radical treatment or for palliation of symptoms. There are two main types of radiotherapy. There's what we call external beam radiotherapy and then there's internal radiotherapy, which is what we call brachytherapy. Under external beam radiotherapy, there's proton treatment, there's photon, which is the common thing that people call external beam radiotherapy, and there's electron therapy. External beam radiotherapy is called external because the radiation, the ionizing radiation comes from a machine that is outside the body that is large, um, sometimes can be a little bit um, frightening, but once you get comfortable you realize that it's just a machine that looks like a CT scanner really. Um, it directs the ionizing radiation from outside the body into the body to treat the tumor and it works by damages the DNA of the cell that it hits and by doing that it prevents the cell from replicating and from growing. Brachytherapy on the other hand is what we call internal radiation and what happens is that we bring the source of radiation very close to the tumor, usually inside the body, sometimes outside, for example on the skin, but most of the time it is internal. So for example with gynecological cancers like cancer of the cervix, the endometrium, with breast cancer, with prostate cancer, we bring the source of the radiation into the body right next to the organ or even inside the organ we're trying to treat and it delivers its radiation right there. The premise of brachytherapy is that we're really trying to protect other organs that are nearby. So brachytherapy, the source delivers all of its radiation in a very, very short distance. So we're able to get a very high concentrated dose into the organ we're trying to treat without affecting other organs that are in the body. External beam radiotherapy can be used to treat almost every type of cancer. And at some point in the cancer treatment journey, most people or many people will require external beam radiation for something or the other. For example, with breast cancer, after surgery, give radiation to the chest wall or sometimes to the whole breast if it was a partial surgery that, the, that was done to prevent a recurrence because you know data has shown that radiation will prevent recurrence in, in these cases and most of children, adults, men, women, radiation, external beam radiation at some point is often needed in the journey of treatment. Many people are anxious before radiotherapy starts. This is how I explain it in clinic. I explain it by telling you that radiotherapy is like if you bring an open flame next to your finger and so if you rub that flame on it for just 10 seconds, you're not going to feel anything. But if you do it consistently for a number of days, after some time, you will see that that tissue begins to die. And that's exactly how radiation works. When you get on the machine, there may be a lot of noise, there may be movement, but you're not going to actually feel anything. The only thing that happens is after some time, you will see the effect of the treatment or you will feel the effect of the treatment. And this is either through side effects or from the tumor dying. Radiation continues to work weeks and months after the treatment is over. The cells continue to die. They're not able to grow and eventually you begin to see tumor shrinkage and the effects of the treatment. If you're on radiotherapy right now, there are three things I would like to say to you. First of all, listen to your doctor, listen to your oncologist. A lot of people will come to you with advice. Don't eat this, don't drink that. If you listen to them, you will find that eventually what will happen is you will become malnourished and then your body will not be able to fight the cancer and will not be able to withstand the treatment you're taking. Ask your oncologist questions. Don't believe what you read on the internet or what random people tell you. Just don't accept what they say without asking your oncologist. The second thing I would like to tell you is that you should look forward to your journey, not just the end, but even going through the entire process. I know that might sound a bit insensitive, but the truth is that cancer is a journey and it's often not a very short one. You have to find a strength from inside yourself and please allow your family and your friends to support and to help you. Don't feel as if you have to go through it alone. Ask your oncologist to introduce you to support groups if you don't have people around you, but people do help. The third thing I would like to tell you is that I wish you all the best for your cancer journey.